In the depths of the sky wanders light Silent in its journey through the endless night A tale of ice and dust gracefully it slides Hello Comet Chasers. This May we're revisiting the celestial wanderers we've been tracking. Join us as we follow 12 P. Pons Brooks, now gracing the southern hemisphere skies, its companion 13 P. Olbers, and follow the fascinating journey of the up-and-coming C-2023 A3 Tsuchinshan Atlas. 12 P. Pons Brooks passed its closest point to the sun on April 21st, and in doing so moved decidedly into equatorial and southern hemisphere skies. So, as observers in the northern hemisphere bid farewell for another 70 years, those in the southern hemisphere are now enjoying their best views. As the month opens, 12 P. Ponce Brooks is visible in binoculars and small telescopes at magnitude 4.6, featuring a coma 4.5 arc minutes across. Look for a bright, diffuse spot in the center. The comet begins the month in Taurus and will move into Lepus. It will be visible in the early evening during twilight, rising higher above the horizon and into darker skies each passing night. It will fade slowly over this period. Observers in the Southern Hemisphere are now seeing more in their telescopes and binoculars than we did in the Northern Hemisphere. A faint, thin tail is now visible, as well as an elongated coma from the dust. A recent drawing by Ian Cooper from New Zealand using 25 by 100 binoculars shows a long, thin tail and a separate dust tail, capturing the classic comet appearance. Another drawing by Rob Kaufman made in 8x42 binoculars from Southeast Australia on April 30th, represents more of what most can expect to see. He has recorded a small coma with a bright center and a faint thin tail with just a hint of the dust tail. Note the lack of color compared to pictures. The human eye sacrifices color to see fainter objects when peering into darkness, so color is seldom seen in the eyepiece. Astrophotographers continue to capture stunning images of the comet, particularly showing off the blue ion tail, sometimes beautifully twisted by the solar wind. These photos are spectacular, but nothing compares to observing a real comet with your own eyes that you've tracked down yourself. The coma you're viewing is a massive ball of gas and dust over 300,000 kilometers in diameter, 23 times the diameter of Earth. Hidden at the center is the comparatively tiny comet itself, only about 30 kilometers. 19 miles across. If you were standing on this comet, it would appear as though it were snowing upwards. 13 P. Olbers bears many similarities to 12 P. Ponce Brooks. Both are long period Halley type comets with similar orbital periods. Interestingly, as comets were numbered based when their orbits were first computed, 13 P. followed 12 P. in our catalogs. Yet it's a coincidence that these two comets are in our skies one after the other because 13P has an orbital period two years shorter than 12P. In the past, they didn't share the sky as they do now. Had 12P not come along to steal the show, 13P Olbers would likely have been much more celebrated. It is a very rare treat to enjoy two historic Halley-like comets in the same observing season, so be sure to take a moment to track down 13P the next time you are out observing. 13P Olbers is an evening comet best visible from mid-northern latitudes. It can be spotted from country or suburban skies in small telescopes starting on May 11th and in binoculars after May 30th. It is magnitude 8.4 and brightening rapidly. Look for a 2.5 arc minute coma. This comet will be low in the sky this month, so a clear view of the western horizon will be required. 13P Olbers is on its way to its closest approach to the sun, at 1.2 times the Earth-Sun distance, on May 30th. It's a shame it's not receiving more attention. Perhaps now that Northern Hemisphere astrophotographers can no longer image 12P, they will start going after 13P, despite how low it is on the horizon. This image by Dan Bartlett is a wonderful exception. He captured the comet on May 28th with a C-14 and Hyperstar from June Lake, California. Dan reports that the comet's tail is highly variable. There was a tail disruption on the 29th that left it as a large, dispersed blob. On the night of May 30th, he said the tail resumed half the length but jet-like in nature. Clearly, this comet needs to be getting more attention. 
The 2023 A3 Tsuchinshan Atlas is still on track to put on a show in the fall. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot more to say about this comet in the coming months. But long before the first hype appears, it is already observable with a small telescope. A treat this far in advance is unusual and a really good sign for what's to come in the fall. C 2023 A3 begins the month at magnitude 10.2 and will brighten by about a magnitude during the month. Look for a 1.6 arc minute diffuse coma with a moderately condensed bright spot in the center. It is available just about every evening this month as it glides through Virgo, although the moon will interfere from the 16th through the 29th. This visibility ensures ample opportunity to observe it, making it an excellent target for comet chasers eager to get a glimpse before its much-anticipated display later in the year. Lastly, a shout-out to our old friend C2021 S3 Panstars, a comet that was visible in small telescopes last fall. It's still hanging in there, displaying a nice tail and images. People at mid-northern latitudes will be able to spot it with a 6-inch telescope early in the month and an 8-inch telescope later on. You will need to be out there well after midnight to catch a glimpse. This comet serves as a reminder that while we generally cover comets visible in small telescopes from suburban skies on this channel, if you have access to a larger telescope and especially a dark sky, there are many more comets awaiting your discovery. As we close this month's celestial journey, remember that each comet we've explored paints its own vibrant stroke across the canvas of the night sky. Stay curious and join us next time as we continue to chase the mysteries that dance above us. Until then, happy comet chasing to all and to all a good night.